The bipartisan plan lays out $1.2 trillion over eight years to go towards improving roads, bridges, broadband, and much more in infrastructure. I clearly didn't get all I wanted. They gave more than I think maybe they were inclined to give in the first place. But this reminds me of the days we used to get an awful lot done up in the United States Congress. While the plan has over $550 billion in new spending, it is a much reduced plan compared to the president's initial $2.25 trillion proposal. It'll be paid for by reallocating some of the pandemic relief aid, local investment, and many other options. There's been so much fraud in some of these COVID relief packages that if we go after the fraud, there'll be a lot of money recovered from that. If this bill is passed, it would mean extra funds would be sent to the state legislature to dole out to priority projects, such as six laning I-10 or fixing water systems. A state priority would be a new Mississippi River bridge in Baton Rouge, uh, uh, a new bridge over the Calcasieu uh, River ship channel, uh, I-49 North and I-49 South. Now Congress heads into a two-week recess where Senator Cassidy says that the language of the bill will be finalized and the bipartisan team will work to garner support from both Republicans and Democrats. And we still got to make sure that the president and Schumer and Pelosi will keep their word uh, and kind of have a go back and forth if it looks like they won't. In Baton Rouge, for your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht.